Good evening and welcome to a new episode of Bahrain Now. Tune into this week's episode as we show you the meaning of staycation and how to be healthy cool. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. No need to fear, hotels are keeping us all in the clear. If you're bored of ordering takeaway and binging on the tubes, you may need a change of pace. Get your staycation on and stay at a hotel, enjoy the beach, or treat yourself to a fine dinner. More on this report with Khaled Hijras. Lounging by the pool or beach should always be a breeze. And with the ironclad safety measures in place, the Four Seasons Bahrain are pampering and protecting their guests so that they can enjoy their fun in the sun. Welcome to Pulam Beach. Today I will explain to you our lead with care guidelines in Pulam Beach outlet. Here is what we do in our wonderful Pulam Beach area. With a nice aquapark behind me, we have the pool and beach here, and we have different requirements to ensure the safety of our guests, employees, and all members. First of all, all the guests that are coming here in pool and beach are registered. Wearing the mask, all of our employees here have to wear the mask and the gloves. We have QR code systems, is our all food and beverage menu, plus promotion is you can see with your phone. We have contactless credit card machine, you can be, have benefit pay, they just need now to scan the QR code and then they can actually order through their phone and they go straight to the waiter. There is no contact anymore. The waiter will prepare the food and then will set up different box, very nice wooden box, very luxurious, to play the food and the guests have to go and get the box. And speaking of food, all of that swimming and sunbathing is bound to work up an appetite. So be sure to treat yourself to a fine dining experience knowing that your safety and satisfaction are a number one priority. Good evening, uh, my name is Fabio and I'm the director of uh, Cut by Wolfgang Puck at Four Seasons Bahrain Bay. I'm here uh, with you to just to tell you a little bit about what we are doing as a restaurant and as a property to ensure that our guests have a uh, safe uh, yet enjoyable uh, dining experience uh, as they walk through our doors. Uh, we welcome the guests into our restaurant and at that moment we actually kindly ask the guests to fill up a form uh, for tracing purposes where we ensure to get all their details including their CPR number, phone number, in case we need to contact them back which fortunately we haven't had to so far. Uh, we have plenty of sanitation stations available for our guests uh, to sanitize their hands at, at any time uh, during their dining experience. We have uh, spaced out the tables in our terraces uh, to ensure there's appropriate distance between guests. Uh, we have obviously um, ensured that all, all our staff are uniformed with the appropriate PPE, so the pro, uh, personal protective uh, equipment like their face mask and also uh, gloves during uh, service or preparation of uh, food. So as a restaurant, we have implemented all the precautionary um, measures that uh, the government has outlined. The major goal and the first one goal is definitely to keep our staff and guests uh, safe. But there's also a big goal uh, right behind th that scene, which is to keep a dining experience truth to itself, uh, that the guests can relax, enjoy as much as they can, as they used to uh, right before everything happened. We are always uh, here for our guests. Uh, we are always very excited to welcome our guests through the doors and we just couldn't be more excited to be able to open again. Here to talk to us more about how hotels are keeping their staff and guests safe while as they continue to treat us to the star treatment we're all desperately craving these days. 
So with us here today is Claire Bramalo, Director of Public Relations at the Four Seasons Bahrain. So thank you for joining us, Claire. Thank you for having me here. Appreciate it. So what are the changes you've seen since the pandemic started till today in the hospitality industry? So COVID-19 has affected all sectors across the globe and the hospitality industry is without a doubt among the hardest hit. Having said that, I still feel incredibly blessed to be part of such a highly resilient industry, one that's driven by constant change and innovation. And you can see that in the past eight months, how quick we were to pivot and adapt to the changing needs, mm. whether it be through increased health and safety measures, diversifying our product range, or the industry as a whole, lending our support to healthcare and medical professionals around the world. Mm. And we like to think that in times of adversity, there's always opportunities there's an opportunity to learn, to grow and to evolve. And in our case, there was right. an opportunity to connect with the local market. Amazing, amazing. So with all that being said, of course, to the traditional question, precautionary measures, any changes there, any uplifting in that case? Of course, but thank you for bringing that because that's really crucial to what we're doing. Uh, our singular goal as a company is to provide not only our guests, but also our team members with the confidence and reassurance that their health and safety is our priority. Mm. So early this year, Four Seasons rolled out Lead With Care, which is our global enhanced and safety program mm. that's developed with the guidance and support of leading medical experts based in the US. We also have okay. partnerships with Ecolab and International oh. SOS. So commonplace measures that you're most likely familiar with include temperature screenings on arrivals, right. social distancing, enhanced cleanliness, all our menus are now available via QR codes that are placed in the rooms and also in the dining outlets. We have the FS app where we encourage guests to do what they can digitally, whether that's checking in online, wow. creating your itinerary for your stay, okay. or even accessing all the information on the property in the palm of your hand from your own mobile device. In addition to that, uh, you as a guest has access to FS chat where you can wow. communicate to a Four Seasons team member any time okay. of day, 24 hours a day, in over 100 languages. So as much as a lot of the communications have shifted to digital, we always try to ensure that we preserve the human connection. Mm. And of mm. course, back of house measures include frequent trainings for staff members. We have a lead with care committee, okay. which is comprised of team members from various departments who are our health and safety champions. Amazing, amazing. So you took it seriously, huh? Oh, very much. I'm sure yeah. of it. So, and now with the word staycation, you know, with the lockdown the happening. The new buzzword. And, and yeah. I know, right? It, all of a sudden it became a word. And the thing is, you know, when people at the lockdown had nothing to do but, you know, walk from the windows to the walls, <laughs> and that's about <laughs> it. And to be more adventurous, mm -hmm. let's just stretch our steps. <laughs> and that's about it. But then, you know, when hotels opened up and giving the opportunity for people just to change the pace, how was your team prepared for that? Well, we've seen tremendous success with the staycation offer, which we rolled out uh, earlier this year in March, mm. more than we had actually anticipated. So as part of your staycation experience, you are entitled to complimentary breakfast, complimentary okay. upgrades, uh, depending on the room category and availability. You have exclusive access to the private beach, mm. uh, three swimming pools, and also the brand new kids water park, and also exclusive deals with our various dining outlets on property as well. Now that's a lot of fun. You need to bring the kids along. You need to come over. I have to, definitely. Please. Sure thing. So with all that been said, now, any changes to the facilities and the activities taking place at the Four Seasons? There, we've definitely seen an increase in demand uh, when it comes to more private, more secluded and outdoor experiences. Mm. And as you know, Four Seasons is situated on a private island. So we are blessed to have such lush outdoor venues, uh, okay. which are well provisioned to host events such as weddings. We have the private beach, which has been a big hit for summer staycationers, <laughs> of course, as you can imagine. And the brand new kids water park, the Dow, which we launched earlier this year in January, and then we reopened again in August. And for me, this is what makes my job so worthwhile, is every time mm. I walk past the water park or I see guests posting on social media, children interacting with their parents and also grandparents, this is what the hospitality industry is all about. It's about fostering and nurturing these human connections between families and loved ones. And it's moments like these that really um, bring our jobs to life. Amazing, amazing. Regarding the Dow, I still remember as we've done the promo shot for Bahrain now, we actually passed by and I'm like, is that a water park? It looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, how did I not know about this? Oh, no. And you want to jump in it too, you I, as an adult. 
yeah. so want to do it, to be honest. I mean, that's why it made the word staycation so much fun because it's happening. And when you go to a hotel, yeah. you feel like you're actually in a different world. And I felt that definitely with Four Seasons. But with all those, you know, preparations and, you know, getting yourself up there, but um, I'm sure you face some challenges. Oh, absolutely. It's been a incredibly challenging time for everyone. Um, but I have to say, I'm extremely proud of not just our team, but also our colleagues around the world by how quick they were to adapt and react. Mm. Our founder, Mr. Isidore Sharp, had shared a message with the team last week, actually. Mm. And the underlying message was that attitude is everything. Attitude is more important than facts. Attitude mm. is more important than the past or what you know. And we believe that it's in such challenging times as these, it's what propels and drives us forward. So back to your question about what's the most challenging aspect. I mm. think it's our ability to connect with our guests. Okay. So with smiles hidden behind masks now mm. and interactions becoming less frequent, it's more important than ever that we maintain that level of personalization and intuitive service for which Four Seasons is known. A uh, key example I love to share with okay. regards to this is uh, the food deliveries, which we initiated earlier this year, mm. home deliveries and takeaway. So our head chef and our F&B management team were the actual ones to go into their cars and drive to deliver oh, the wow. food to their loyal guests. And this is a way for them just to check in, say hello, pop wow. in. And it's small touches like this that really make a difference. Amazing attitude is more important than facts. And I learned something right now. That's, I mean, that is so true. The fact is that them themselves going all the way to deliver it says a lot about that. So with all of that, how about marketing's point of view? How do you have to change with all of that? From a marketing point of view, uh, pre-COVID, uh, the majority of our guests were coming from GCC. So Saudi, mm. Kuwait, emerging markets consisted of Europe and Russia. Now, of course, it's mainly locals. Mm. So what used to work before might not work now. For example, when we used to, just an example, uh, work with a German publication, mm. we secured the editorial months in advance and plan everything ahead of time. Such a time frame is irrelevant now. Yeah. So these things are changing, not only on a weekly basis, but also a daily basis. So we've shifted a lot of our communications and our campaigns to digital. Okay. Um, to ensure more timely and targeted communication. Mm. So we've also partnered a lot with our local media partners and okay. high profile key influencers mm. in the country, which we hope to continue. Amazing. So the social media influencers, pretty much that's their market right now. Now, with that being said, what do you see for Bahrain's hospitality industry in the next two years? What's the vision that you have for it? Well, we have very limited uh, visibility into the foreseeable future, but yeah. I am very confident that we will overcome this. People have uh, a love for travel and share an inherent desire to create new experiences. And the question is not if the tourism industry will resume, it's when. And when it does, I hope it does so in a more sustainable and mindful manner. Mm. Um, and I'm excited for Bahrain because for right. me, Bahrain has such incredible capacity and potential to mm. soar as a tourism hub. You have wonderful historical attractions, the most beautiful natural assets, ranging from the three UNESCO heritage sites to the sandbanks uh, off the coast of Bahrain. Right. And take this from someone who's actually lived in Maldives oh. for a few <laughs> years. So I think it's gonna take a collective effort, but I believe that uh, with the expansion of direct flight routes from emerging markets and us pitching meaningful stories about the mm. people of Bahrain and the culture and also creating inspiring content that will captivate and engage the international market. I think we can go very far and I'm very excited to be a part of this. Beautifully said. Couldn't say it better myself, to be <laughs> honest. No, attitude is better than facts and I can't wait to go and try the down water park. Yeah, we'll be kids. waiting for you, please. I would definitely be there. You're going to see me right there. I expect there. to see you on the slides. 5 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Please do. <laughs> Anytime. The temperature is all good. You know? <laughs> and do a new promo for Bahrain now, just right there. And the thing is with Four Seasons, like we all see it as not only a luxurious place to stay in, but it's beautiful how it's all located. Plus the stories we heard about all this crazy wedding that took place over there. It is story to be told for years to come. Thank you so much, Claire Brumelow, for the amazing talk happening here right now on Bahrain Now. Thank you, Bara. So ladies and gentlemen, that was it.
our talk about staycations with Claire Brumelow from Four Seasons. Stay tuned for more happening here at Bahrain Now. Cryotherapy, a new health trend and treatment which is becoming increasingly popular here in Bahrain. So what is it and how does it work? Let's get to know more about it and freeze in in the upcoming report with the cool Maryam El Bayati. Cryotherapy or cold therapy is a technique where the body is exposed to extremely cold temperatures for several minutes. Whole body cryotherapy, which is your body when exposed to negative 110 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes. This is good for blood circulation, anti-inflammatory. If you have muscle pain and joint pain, it will help also. Especially if you are suffering from stress, anxiety, it will help you to produce a happy hormone which is the endorphins. Okay, we have a safety rules. It should be no heart problems, respiratory disease, no open wounds, and remove all jewelry. We will provide you the, all your gears for you. We have the shorts, the socks, and the gloves, and the face mask, and then the a headband. Okay, I will wait you outside if you have finished. And we can play music inside. We will choose for you. And then safety check. All good. Okay. Increased energy, metabolism, immunity, and recovery in just three minutes. No wonder cryotherapy has become increasingly popular. One. Yeah. Enjoy. Haven't tried cryotherapy yet? Make sure you do, and remember if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Maryam Al Bayati. Thank you for watching. Minus 140 degrees. That is crazy. So joining us here tonight in the studio is Lex Posey from Cryo Bahrain. So good evening. Good evening. Cryotherapy, what is that? Cryotherapy. Cryo literally means cold therapy. Mm. So the concept is basically exposing your body to extreme cool temperatures to heal the body. So how does it work? Well, you may have seen some of the videos or little snippets of people going into this thing that looks like a freezer. Yeah. This is the cryo chamber. Okay. Right? So uh, we give it some time to cool down to minus 110 we start off people and then they, they go in and uh, it's a three minute session. Three minutes. During the session, the body thinks it's freezing so it sends all the blood and oxygen to the heart, oh. the main organs. And then when you come out, it realizes it's not, so the blood and oxygen is going um, to all the extremities and flushing everything out. So right. this is sort of how it works. So the benefits are pretty high with the cryotherapy. 
Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's really good for recovery. So if you're really into training and into sport, it helps mm. you uh, with inflammation. So it gets you back into your sport quicker. Okay. Um, it releases the endorphins, which is a happy hormone. Right. So you come out feeling better, not e if you don't even know why. Um, huh. It's good for anxiety. You sleep better. Interesting. And uh, it gives you a nice glow. So it's got huh. the beauty and the sport kind of element all wrapped into one. Okay, so weight loss, metabolism, all that's involved? Yes, definitely. So it helps you lose 400 to 800 calories in mm. one session, three minutes, um, because basically your body's shivering, right? What happens okay. when your body shivers? It's, it's using energy to try and warm up. So if you want a, a quick boost of metabolism, cryos for you as well. I would love to have that boost, but more than that, I'd like to have a demonstration maybe? Yeah, sure. So we can't bring the chamber here, but we okay. did bring, um, these guys are called the penguins. Okay. And we actually do facial glows with those as well. Awesome. So if you just give me a sec to set it up, we have sure uh, thing. someone sure here thing. that's going to have a treat. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. So we're going to have a break just for a few seconds. We'll be back again just to set up the cryo machine right here at Bahrain now. Okay, the demonstration is actually happening right now as we have our model Edna and Lex is actually doing the demonstration itself. So what mm -hmm. is happening right now? All right, so this is one of our treatments. It's called uh, the facial glow. Okay. Uh, it's 10 minutes long and what it does is it, it helps um, produce collagen and it, it shrinks the pores mm. and it's going to leave you with that healthy glow. Um, so it helps the cells rejuvenate themselves producing collagen. Okay. And for 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes, yeah. Oh, wow. And it's super safe and it's great right now because it's contactless, right? Yeah. So, um, and the machine's quite clever. It'll, it'll okay. shut off the nitrogen if it notices the skin's getting too cold. So it right. won't even continue doing the treatment. Seems Edna's having a lot of fun right now. I mean, <laughs> she's very calm. Yeah, it's quite relaxing, so relaxing as well. Having some nice daydreams right now. It's good before an event, a wedding coming up or something. No way. You can do it over makeup or uh, on a cleansed face. Okay. Okay, I, I think I would need that, you know, every time before I go on TV. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have one of those for three minutes and we'll be ready to go. Do you want to try it now? Uh, Edna seems too comfortable. <laughs> I, I would love to, actually. I, is okay. it okay, Edna? Can I take your space? It's so relaxing, yes. So re sure. I, I can do that, Edna? Sure. Sure? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> And you know, seeing your face right now, it's like, <laughs> I just can't help. We have to bring cryo to you. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, let's so go. close your eyes. Mm. Take us on a journey. How are you feeling? Wow. <laughs> is it as cold as you think? It is just beautiful. It's like I'm inside a fridge. So we have, it's minus 260. I swear to God. I, I don't Imagine know Imagine this on your whole body. This is just wow. the face. Wow. Is that how Elsa thinks from Frozen? Probably. Wow. That's how she stays so beautiful. I know, right? It just makes a lot of sense to me right now. I think Frozen 3 will be sponsored by you. We'll see what we can do. If she's lucky. <laughs> is she lucky? Oh. If she's lucky. <laughs> wow. It, it, no wonder people are talking about it. It's becoming like a trend. Everybody's like, cry or cry or cry. Yes. Wow. It's not just for the face. Say you had uh, like tennis elbow or okay. some inflammation somewhere else. Like we could do a little bit on your hand there. If you just open your hand for me. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So maybe a bit of carpal tunnel. It's great for inflammation. I feel like I want to build a snowman right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. You're never going to get up, are you? No. Can <laughs> I stay here to the end of the show? Yes. Thank you. Look at that smile. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's this is a real happiness, you know. Yeah. This is a real smile. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't think you can tell f between a fake or a happy smile or a real smile, but this is a real smile. This is it. This is a real it's yeah. Cryo effect. Oh my god! <laughs> after this, after this, I'm heading to your 
Institute or to your clinic. I yes, have to please. Stay there. Three you minutes? You have to try the whole body. Oh, yeah. the whole body. You know, I feel so lucky being a presenter today for <laughs> right now <laughs> to get that kind of treatment live on TV. Should be going viral with this. And it's mobile, so when, when the ministry says we can uh, we can do treatments at your home, we can bring it to you. But for the time being, you yeah. have to come to cryo. I, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to just put a proposal mm -hmm. to the management of Bahrain TV, say we have to have this before every news reading session or every time we go on TV. And then we can have a deal with cryo. Yeah. Just let me know. I'll just keep going. <laughs> you can Whenever go you're. as long as you want. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh, oh wow. see, it's too cold. That's why I shut off. Oh, uh, what? No. There we go. <laughs> hey, what did change come from blue to green? Uh, it's the distance I am away from the face, so. Oh, wow. Wow. What is the funniest thing you ever encountered while doing this? Uh, funniest thing? Uh, selfies, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, videos, live videos, nothing too funny with this, more the whole body, the people's music choice is quite entertaining, uh, their dance skills, because okay. the therapist uh, stays in there and you get to pick your favorite music and put it okay. connected to the Bluetooth, so some interesting music choices. Interesting um, <laughs> choices. Yeah. Let it go, let no. <laughs> yeah, we get everything. Oh wow, oh wow. I, I, I'm sure like you get to hear some crazy stories well, like people just open up to you, right? They feel too comfortable. Too comfortable or nervous, yeah, because they don't know that they can push the door open at any time or put down the window. So it's, okay. it's actually like if you're a little nervous about the size of the chamber, Okay. Um, we, s we have tools to make it feel like more comfortable so we can open the window almost all the way down and they can just open it if they're ever feeling unsafe or uh, uncomfortable, so. It's but yeah, sometimes people don't talk and they just stand there or they talk a lot and they're just telling <laughs> us their life story. So. Talk a lot. So it's like cryotherapy and psycho uh, like a psychiatrist. Actual the therapy, time. yeah. Actual therapy. It's two for one, really. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, I, I think th you're all glowed up. I am? Yeah, wrinkles gone. Looking it's fresh. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a definite experience as you can see my face is glowing right <laughs> now and i'll be auditioning for the next frozen movie <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen with us was the beautiful and amazing and talented lex pezzo thank you from cryotherapy here at bahrain now so gyms are back Fitness enthusiasts, be sure to check our very own Walid Leblouchi's report and how can you return to your fitness regime safe and sound. Most of us have gained some extra pounds in lockdown period, but gyms are open now, which means we got an extra activity to keep ourselves fit and entertained. We came in Fit Gym and Spa to find out what are the people reactions and what are the safety procedures. So basically, we've taken all the safety procedures that the government of Bahrain told us to follow and take. Uh, we actually initiated doing that before the closure of the gyms, just before the, uh, the government decided to tell us all to close. Um, but unfortunately, we did not last a couple of days and then the government decided to close for the sake of the safety and well-being of our members, obviously, and the safety and well-being of the Bahrain's population. After that, um, we looked into getting specific machines and equipment in order to make sure that we be on top of uh, disinfecting the gym. So we've got uh, special thermal scanners that uh, scan you from two meters away and uh, can also detect your temperature and can also detect your face. 
The scanners uh, as well take 24 hours live feed, so we actually have a video of everybody entering and leaving the premises. In terms of disinfecting, we've got special fogging machines that fog the gym uh, completely um, in a major uh, scale. So we have to actually close the gym down for 15 minutes in order to do so. And um, we obviously disinfect the machines after every use. We also actually, when we first opened, we opened partially as well, the same way that the government decided to open things back up in Bahrain, they decided to open things partially, which is a very smart thing to do, and we salute them for that. Um, we did that as well, and we decided to open up partially and make sure that we take things step by step with the whole fight against COVID-19. We've seen a surge in, in outdoor activities. We've seen a lot of people, you know, jogging outside, running, walking, uh, families, uh, individuals. Uh, unfortunately, it was during the summertime, it was during the heat, but it did not stop, you know, people from going outside. Uh, but of course, this cannot replace the gym. You can do only so much outside, outdoor, and uh, uh, I have not stopped, but I'm, I'm very happy and I'm glad that the gyms are reopened again. Uh, I think it's just a great move from the government to, uh, to decide and reopen the gyms uh, with everything that's happening. Uh, at least, you know, we have a breather and somewhere to work out and uh, release some of the, the pressure uh, of the current situation. And uh, from what I see here at Fit Gym, they're doing a great job with precautions, with uh, social distancing, with cleaning, with uh, safety measures. I prefer working out in the gym because here it's, uh, you get weights. You, you, you get to lift weights over here, okay? And it is safe nowadays, by the way, to work out in the gyms because of the safety precautions they are taking in the gym and everything. Each and every area is sanitized and uh, there is uh, precautionary measures between the people and also like there is social distancing and everything. So that's why I prefer to work out in the gym. And sometimes I do work out outside, but it depends. But as long as the gyms are safe, so I prefer to work out in the gym. Now we are going through this pandemic of Corona. So working out is very important. Doesn't matter, you get to work out outside or inside the gym or anywhere. I highly recommend that people should do some kind of physical activities because it will strengthen your immunity system and help you fight diseases. I like working out in the gym because it's more equipped. It's, uh, you can do more of uh, weight trainings over here uh, rather than outside. I would prefer inside gym. I do support the opening of the gyms and I hope in, uh, very soon they're going to open the, uh, they're going to open completely as free as it was before. As a fitness uh, instructor, uh, it's like a normal, the same like daily lifestyle. So as long as you have uh, safety precaution, everything is fine. For the, for the first two weeks, the clients like a bit afraid, but after the, after the third week, they coming more because they, they see how the procedure process the, for the safety for them also. So as of now, they're wearing gloves, they're wearing masks. So everything like, like uh, they don't afraid now to come in the gym. Keep yourself busy by exercising and create a new habit. Don't forget your mask and use hand sanitizer before and after using any machine. If you're thinking of going to gym, choose off peak time. I'm Moli Del Blushi reporting on Bahrain International TV. The educational system has faced many obstacles across the globe during this pandemic. However, the Kingdom of Bahrain has proved its efficiency in regards of providing an excellent based educational system whilst maintaining social distancing.
With public schools finally reopening on the 11th of October 2020, after being postponed by two weeks in order to test all administrative, technical, and teaching staff for COVID-19. As schools are sent to offer both online and physical lessons, the Ministry of Education has filmed more than 500 television lessons to be aired to help with distant learning. With this huge step in education, the Kingdom of Bahrain has proved its solidity against different obstacles during this pandemic, making sure to provide quality education to all its students while maintaining the correct precautionary measures. And that's it for our episode today as we saw staycations and how to be healthy cool for today's episode. Do reach us on our social media for any questions, recommendations or suggestions. I'm Bara Abdallah and this is Bahrain Now. Stay safe.